So, there is a new AI model called Metaclip that's making a big difference in the way we train language and image systems together. I think it's one of the best models I've come across lately, and I'm excited to tell you more about it. So, what exactly is Metaclip? Why is it significant? And what are its capabilities? Let's find out. All right, let's start by discussing what language image pre-training is. This method helps a model learn using pairs of images and their descriptions. By studying both pictures and words, the model gets a better grasp of the world, which helps it with tasks that need both visual and language abilities. For instance, such a model can create descriptions for new pictures or sort images using language-based questions. One notable model in this area is CLIP, developed by OpenAI in 2021. CLIP, which stands for Contrastive Language Image Pre-Training, has been a big deal in computer vision. It uses a massive collection of 400 million image text pairs from the internet. CLIP can categorize images into different groups just by knowing the category names. It's capable of zero-shot learning, meaning it can recognize things it hasn't seen during training. For example, if Clip sees a picture of a raccoon and needs to choose between a dog, a cat, or a raccoon, it can correctly identify it as a raccoon, even if it hasn't seen one before during training. This sounds impressive, but Clip isn't without issues. One major concern is the lack of clarity and accessibility of Clip's data. OpenAI hasn't shared much about where its data comes from, making it hard for others to replicate or build on their work. Another problem is the lack of diversity in Clip's data. Its performance varies across different datasets. While it does well with ImageNet, a standard for image classification with 1,000 categories, it struggles with other sets that focus on different visual understanding aspects. For example, it doesn't do as well on datasets like ObjectNet, ImageNet Rendition, and ImageNet Sketch, which test recognition of objects in varied poses, backgrounds, or abstract forms. The issue here is that CLIP's training data has a bias towards certain types of internet images and captions, which limits its ability to generalize well to other kinds of datasets. Now, how do we tackle these challenges and build a more effective model that can learn from a wider and more accurate range of image text combinations. This is where Metaclip plays a crucial role. Developed by experts at Facebook AI Research, FAIR, and Meta, Metaclip or Metadata Curated Language Image Pre-Training is a cutting-edge model designed to improve and share the data selection process used in Clip with everyone. Metaclip starts with a huge collection of image text pairs from Common Crawl, an extensive web archive containing billions of pages. It then uses specific details, known as metadata, drawn from the concepts used in CLIP to sift through and even out the data. This metadata includes information like where the data came from, when it was created, what language it's in, and what it's about. With this approach, Metaclip can pick a range of data that showcases a variety of visual ideas while avoiding unnecessary repetition. There are two key steps in Metaclip's data sorting method, filtering and balancing. Filtering involves removing image text pairs that don't meet certain standards from the original collection. For instance, Metaclip gets rid of pairs where the text is not in English, doesn't relate to the image, or the image is too small, unclear, or contains inappropriate content. Balancing means making sure there's an even mix of image text pairs across different categories like the source, like news sites or blogs, the year, ranging from 2008 to 2020, the language, English or others, and the subject matter, like nature, sports, or art. By using metadata to filter and balance the data, Metaclip puts together a top-quality dataset of 400 million image text pairs. This dataset performs better than the one used in CLIP on several recognized tests. In a specific test called Zero-Shot ImageNet Classification, Metaclip reaches a 70.8% success rate, which is higher than CLIP's 68.3% using a VITB model. VITB models are a kind of framework that employs transformers, complex neural networks that handle series of data like text or images. When expanded to 1 billion data points while keeping the training resources the same, its success rate goes up to 72.4%. What's more, Metaclip maintains its strong performance across different model sizes, like with the VTH model, which is a bigger, more powerful version of VATB, reaching an 80.5% success rate without any extra tricks. Metaclip also proves to be more reliable and versatile than Clip and other datasets that test various aspects of understanding visuals, such as ObjectNet, ImageNet Rendition, and ImageNet Sketch.
All right, let's break this down to make it easier to understand. What does MetaClip offer that Clip doesn't? The main thing is that MetaClip is better at understanding and dealing with complicated tasks that involve both pictures and words. This is because it has been trained with a wider and more varied set of images and corresponding text. For instance, MetaClip is really good at coming up with precise and relevant descriptions for new images or sorting images based on complex or subtle questions. It can also handle tough situations, like pictures that are blurry, blocked in some parts, or artistically altered. Plus, MetaClip works with a broader range of languages and types of content, including texts that are not in English and material from social media platforms. MetaClip is very useful in many areas that need both picture and language handling abilities. It's great for creating AI systems that are more effective in a lot of different image-related tasks. These include searching for images, retrieving them, writing captions for them, generating new images, editing them, combining them, translating, summarizing, labeling, as well as forensic analysis, authenticating, verifying, and so on. Now, MetaClip is a strong tool for preparing images and language together and is really helpful for researchers. They've shared the way they gather data and how they spread out their training data on the internet, and anyone can get to this information. This is useful for people who want to train their own models or do their own research. The data from MetaClip is easier to understand and use than the data from Clip, and it's better for a variety of tasks because it's more varied and represents different things. But MetaClip does have its problems and challenges. Like any model that learns from a lot of data from the internet, MetaClip's data might be biased or have some mistakes. It might show cultural or social biases from the internet content it learns from. There could also be errors or mix-ups in how MetaClip pulls out or sorts its metadata. Plus, there are ethical and legal concerns about using internet data for training. For instance, MetaClip has to respect the rights of the people who originally owned or made the data and make sure it doesn't use anything that could upset or hurt someone. These are issues that MetaClip needs to work on but these shouldn't make us forget the good things about MetaClip. It's a very innovative model that has really pushed forward how we prepare images and language, creating new opportunities for research and practical uses in this area. So, what do you think of MetaClip? Do you have any questions or comments about it? Let me know in the comments section below. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more AI content. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.